here at the Limited Britta Arena. And we've reached our fourth match of the day, which is the men's doubles on Yusin and Tio Yi of Malaysia up against Arsan and Setiawan. Let's have the, se the semi finals pan out. That other semi a little later on today. That will be match number six. Waiting for the Malaysians to appear. Centre stage. HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2022. Semi finals. versus Mohamed Asan and Hendra Satyawan from Indonesia. So popular wherever they play, Asan and Satyawan. Benjamin Ku Pan Sien from Chinese Taipei. Sanam Ti Nu, Rape Chai Ku, Rob Rong Tanale, Ong Yu Sin, Nathia Yi Sa, Rape Malati, Mohammed Asa, Nathana Sakiwa, Rape Malati. You see it 3 1 on the head to head. Tail, red or black? Red color for you. The last meeting was. Uh, this is red. You won the toss. In the India you Open semi final way back in January. It Tail was serve. A two. Straight Mohammed. game victory that took only half an hour for uh, the Indonesians. So Wong Yu Sin, who's uh, 27 years of age now, won a World Championship for uh, bronze pair last year. Just the one major title between them, which was the uh, 2020 Thai Masters, at least it was here. And uh, Tio Yi Li, who's a couple of years older than Ong. 
They did make the final at the Australian Open last month. Tio actually won the boys' doubles back in 2011 at the World Juniors with Nelson Hegg. That's how they've got on this week. Ruki and Kobayashi gave them a problem. But, uh, came through against Alfian and Adianto yesterday in 53 minutes. Yeah, they didn't even control their own destiny after that. They needed a win from uh, Choi and um, Kim against Ryan Kobayashi, and they got it. Three-time world champions, uh, Arsene and Setiawan. They won this title three times, most recently in 2019. No titles this year, though. Beaten in three finals in India, in Birmingham at the All England, then Malaysia. That's how they have performed so far. One defeat coming yesterday, but I, I'm not sure we should read too much into that, Steve. No, and then we haven't said Ready too much. To play. But um, not a whole lot of uh, time on court. They've spent throughout the week, one and a half hour. My daughter to France. There's the chair umpire. Propan Hsien of Chinese Taipei's service judge. And I also think we had a bit of luck on into that um, Alfian and Arianto only needed one game to qualify yesterday after winning that first game against the Malaysians. They, um, Seem to uh, have some lapses in concentration. Ladies and gentlemen, and the other Indonesian pair in this tournament. On the right, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sechawan, Indonesia. <laughs> and on my left, Ong Yu Sin and Theo He Yi, Malaysia. Theo Eyi to serve to Mohamed Hassan. Level play. So here we go then for the first men's doubles semi final. One love. Full start Three, one. by the Malaysians. Dominated by Arsene and Setiawan. Real uh, statement of intent in the first few points. Yeah, good work by Ong Yu Sin. That's in the previous rally where he was playing in the front court.
is over. Two, five. What some of the crowd came to see. These two performing like this. If uh, Sergio doesn't get it, Arsene yeah. will. There's going to be a lot of emphasis on the uh, front court, I think. There is over six three. Out here in the first game, Ongentio has a chance of making the court big. But um, I think once we get a little bit uh, further into this first game, uh, the timing will be better for us and then uh, set you on in the attack. Four, six. And I um, would only recommend the lift as uh, a rare variation for the Malaysians. So it's over. Seven, four. Not coming back. Goes over. Five, seven. Second big miss this time, my son. Somewhat one sided uh, scoreline at the mid game break. Not too many would have predicted that. They've been playing for four minutes, and the daddies are behind and well behind despite a few tricks and flicks. Miss. Yeah, it's a really Will good start for two and uh, all. No, my son and Sessuan in the all out attack have made, I've um, counted three huge errors. There is over six, twelve. <laughs> and 
fantastic behind the back shot in the middle of that rally. From on there it was. Do have a challenge. Yeah, that was a tricky one. It must be um, on the middle line that they are challenging. It was uh, wide left of the service field. Successful one challenge remaining. Nine, twelve. So, after being well behind at the uh, mid game break, comebacks on here for the Indonesians if they can sustain it. Just a couple of points behind now. Ten, twelve. Very, very strong uh, front court player. Marcelo well, and in the end, have their opponents in two minds. Great decision to play it, and that rarely works. Superb from Arsan. Positions on lucky shots. Almost seemed to stop for a minute, didn't it? Yeah. Top of the net. Deciding which way to go. Came back down on the Malaysian side. And the daddies are level. Reaction on 16, um, the attack on him. And then 
fill the awareness up in it. Sensorman is sick. Getting on a streak of services and interceptions, and there's some easy points. Going ahead. Well, they still look pretty composed on them, TO. Yeah. 17 15. rallies of the match and it may prove pivotal if uh, Owen Tio go on to play in this 18, opening game 15. it's their favourites to do now I seem to recall there was a time when the daddies were down three points in the game and they were the favorite to win it. I'm sure. I'm not saying they won't win it. It's just, uh, exactly. It yeah. can be a deceiving lead. It feels you're almost there. Well, they did well, actually, uh, Ong and Tio, because they, they were pegged back to 13 all, weren't they, having had a really big lead at the mid-game interval and then kind of kicked on again yeah Vaguely close at this stage, I, I would imagine. Have a look <laughs> for the head of it, but it's uh, well beyond the back line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 1916. Play. Service over, 17-19. Huge point, this one. Oh. Missed it. And here are three game points for Argentio to take the opener. 20, game points, 17. They look favourite for the most part. That was a fantastic get. Early in the rally by Tio. So they missed and usually many of those big opportunities, Hassan and uh, Sechuan. Clever flicker. And a well played game, 21 17. The daddy's behind here. Ong and Yu Sin and uh, Huey Yi in front early. Yeah. 
要去观察，这边这边送风他们走，那边是那边送风他们更不敢停。所以我一拍一拍啊，我刚就我动不了，然后我给如果你进去动就下来给一拍一拍，就等于是被动的。就动的话，我不要一拍一拍啊。就动的话，不管谁被谁他拍就好啊，反正这个球拍好嘛，就拍到这边。Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Second game. Love. So, long into you, struck first, here in this uh, first semi-final of the men's doubles. Service over. Signing that situation. One, love. Playing the better side of the court uh, here in uh, the second game. Playing up against the drift. Service but, over. Uh, it looked a little One, bit uh, off in the first game. Two vastly experienced Indonesians. Service for goal. Service for Too goal. Too high. Oh, you've seen. Service over. Two, one. Not all of the shuttle below 115 hey. centimeters when struck. Yeah, that's well done. Service over. Two, old. Hey. And, um, difficulty is uh, getting on the attack. Setuan and Hassan so far. Oi, behind the back. Fantastic shot by Tiu. Placement by uh, Mohamed Hassan after picking up pace at the net earlier on. Here it is, the uh, behind the back shot. And finally, the uh, great placement there going all the way across. at the net and right now the Malaysians need the net a little bit more than um, some situation a bit easier to survive in defense on uh, the right. other side of the court here great hand speed at the net from Tia again Oh, yeah, 
PC. But it uh, also shows that uh, it's difficult to maintain the uh, control. That's a beautiful play by um, Setewan. The shot previous to this one. Really, really entertaining Seven. game of men's double. So, and at this stage, you would uh, probably bet quite heavily it's going to go three games. It just appears as though those two men are starting to get the measure of the Malaysians. There is over five, seven. Hey! Hey! It was actually a, a misjudgment, wasn't it, by Arsene that forced him into that kind of extremely difficult maneuver. There you go. And uh, somehow, came out winning the point. Yeah, trick shot. So, return. Still crowd pleasers. In perspective, they're playing too much from uh, below the table at the moment. Indonesians have um, taken over the uh, initiative in the service situation. by a long way. So a very handy lead for the Indonesians as they go to the mid-game interval. And I'm looking good to tie this match up at one game all shortly. Right in the middle of the tram lines. Deception on. Well, despite uh, Arsene's best efforts, the uh, non stop 
trying ethic of Ong and Tio. Only helps them pick up a point, but they're still trailing here. Not just on the scoreboard, but you just get the feeling that the momentum has shifted in this match. And the Masons there lacking these uh, four big mistakes from the uh, Indonesians that they got in the first game. That helped a lot, but we can see here that it's, it's much easier to sort of variate your game from the near end of the court. You have the option of lifting and uh, making the court big, so to speak, utilizing all of it instead of having to play mid-court area, net court which is uh, mostly the case for Ong and Tio at the moment. 14, complete control now this second game yeah it seems like we're heading to the decider oh you good interception by Hassan uh, by Hendo Setuan thank you pardon 17, This match is rattling along. We haven't even played half an hour yet. We're almost two games in. Fast courts and two pairs. I'd like to attack. Service over. 9-18. Ten, eighteen. Quick exchanges, 11, so you have to be ready 18. with the racket. So, nine chances for Arsene and Setiwan to tie up the match at one all. Service over. 12-20. And this also means that in the third game, Ong and Tio, they got to uh, try and build a fairly big lead playing the near side of the court here. When we get to that... 13-20. Good enough. So 21 13. Arsene and Seti won much the better pair in that second game. So we're all square, one game all. 21 13. 
one game all. Yeah, the match moving along very quickly. Only 32 minutes played. One apiece here on semi-final day. Final game, love all, play. So here we go then, the deciding game. There is over, one, love. Mm. And just like the uh, previous part of the match, server situation absolutely crucial. Oh. One, two. from Hassan there, uh, from um, Seto on court, on off court. Three, two. See this being uh, successful. No, I also thought it was inside. That was a quick decision from um, more guy this time. One challenge remaining. For all players.
to really battle and grind it out there, didn't they? Arsene said to one. Put on a genuine pressure that came through. One of the very best rallies of the match. Not a whole lot of uh, behind the back or between the leg shots, but uh, high quality badminton. Sacrificing himself there, Hassan. What a beautiful disguised drop shot from uh, Ong Yusin. Seven, six. Actually, I think there was two movements towards the shuttle there from um, Sichuan in the service. It's not allowed. No call. Time is over. Seven, old. Again, showcasing the uh, difficulty of list lifting from the far side of the court. Very hard to control in the drift. They've got a spring in their step at the moment on the Tio. Yeah. Thought they might um, roll over for. Arsene and Satyawan in this decider, but no sign of that happening so far. Mohammed Hassan challenges. Well, it's called out, but they want to have another look by Hawkeye. And was it on the back line? It was called out. I couldn't see that. Well, they'll hope that doesn't come back Ten, to haunt them. Seven, no challenges left. Play. looking advantage for the uh, Malaysians see whether they can take advantage of it in about half a minute's time
I heard Chini Hui, the uh, Malaysian coach, saying something about down the line, but was it don't play down the line or use the uh, diagonal instead where you have more court to work with or not? I wasn't uh, able to catch up on that. Play. But they've got to win the service situation on in uh, two. Otherwise, those three points lead is gone in uh, less than a minute. So he just pushed it li a little bit, teasing uh, to to go for it. Oh, that's fantastic! What bad reactions from out of 38 there? No, Seti one, brilliant. First on the backhand, then the forehand. Fantastic rally again. He said the lead would go potentially in a minute. Might have been a minute and a half, but they're on terms and on fire, these two. He's walking around on court, was quick to uh, take a place on the uh, HSBC bench in the rally prior to this, and now he's walking around with um, his hand in his left side. It's good. The rally that I wouldn't have expected to lose. So little margin for error down that side. Playing it directly uh, into the trap at the moment. When the sun plays the first, look how he's going. He was, um, I think he was ill earlier in the week. He was missing the um, gala dinner. With some flu like symptoms. So 
who has scored eight out of the last ten points to him. Yep. Well, they played considerably better than yesterday. That's right into the uh, hitting zone. 14, 16. Well, actually, I think that's on is struggling a bit. Time for that to happen. So it's over. 17 15. So this judge from uh, Chinese Taipei with the extended arm and that the dagger to the heart of the Malaysians. Oh. Good service return. So it's over. 16 17. I think uh, Hassan is going to go all out on a low serve now and stay at the net. Well, which way is this topsy-turvy match going to go here? <laughs> Business end of the decider, 17 all. Just when it looked as though Arsene and Setiawan were taking control, that come on and tear. Fantastic service for time by uh, Setiawan. 18, 17. <laughs> from uh, Mohammed Arsa. He looks in a hanger at his wagon. Can you desert me like this? As if the string had gone or something. Play. Important service in return. Kind of built the rally beautifully there until they got a position of control, and now they have a match point. And Hassan has gone to the HSBC bench again, sat down having a drink. I'm not sure he's feeling too well. 20 match points, 19. Working extremely hard in the rally there, was he? And they hold it together for one more point. Yeah. 
That'll do it. <laughs> Flat out Arsene on the court. They've come through 21-19 in the third. And they'll be here for tomorrow's final. Try and make it another World Tour Finals gold medal. Excellent match. Arne and Theo played their part as well. But maybe just the additional experience. Just knew a bit more at the vital moments. He's happy, Mohamed Hassan, and he's thankful for Hendra Setsevan today. Sometimes it's been the other way around, but um, a good win for the Indonesians. And a very popular one, too. Judging from the, how the crowd are reacting. Mohamed. 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 <laughs> Great shot. Match won by Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sechawan. 17-21, So, confirmation of the score. They win. 17-21, 21-13, 21-19 in 53 minutes on court. And they're in tomorrow's final. Now then, next, we're going to find out who goes through to play Akala Yamaguchi in the women's final. Will it be Tai Su Ying or will it be Herbin Zhao? That's next. Welcome back to the Nimibatur Arena, part of the National Stadium Complex here in Bangkok. If you're with us earlier, you'd have seen a brilliant performance by uh, Akana Yamaguchi, taking down Chen Yufei, the Olympic champion, in just uh, 34 minutes. We're going to find out who her opponent will be tomorrow because it's Tai Zhu Ying, the